friends. Happy Thursday. I'm back. How is everybody doing? I'm so excited to be here. And guess what? I'm COVID free. Yes. Oh my gosh. It was a long two weeks. I, uh, it was tough. I'm not going to lie. Mentally, physically, emotionally, that was a really hard, um, well, challenging experience that, that I went through, which I know many of you have been through, and I absolutely empathize. Um, but I am, I am on my way to better health. I'm still feeling a little foggy and still feeling some of that fatigue and that phlegm, as you guys may know. Um, but I'm here, and I made it through last week 60 hours of intensive business training, which don't even ask me how I did that. <laughs> it was like literally all mental. I was like... Just keep focusing on what I love, keep focusing on service, keep focusing on the value that I want to bring into the world. So that's personally how I did it. And which actually brings us to the most perfect topic this week, which is how to filter out the noise here. Now, I want you to observe just for a moment how many thoughts go through your mind at any given time? And I'm going to tell you, it's between 12 and 50,000 thoughts per day. Per day. Which means that 80% of those thoughts are negative and are going in a loop. And guess what? Whatever is in our thoughtful mind gets created in the results in our life. That is case in point. Okay, so the question is, well, how the hell do we filter this out and how do we start, how, how are we able to start living a little bit more authentically? So I'm going to give you a couple of tips that are going to help you on this path of filtering out the noise in your mind. But the first thing I want you to do is just give yourself a little bit of love and forgiveness that you have these thoughts. The problem that I often see people have, whether it's my clients or whether it's my friends, family, people in general, myself, is that we can get stuck in these thought loops and we are recreating a story over and over and over in our minds. We get triggered by something someone says and then we cannot let it go. Why can't we let it go? Because there's something inside of us that has created a story about the situation or about the person and we don't know how to break that pattern okay so the first thing that we have to do and i talk about this a lot is start creating that level of awareness it's all about noticing and once you start to notice then you can actually start to do something about it this is where you can start to make some new changes right because i remember Whatever you put your attention on creates a thought. That thought creates a feeling. That feeling then creates an action. That action creates a result. And whatever doesn't get processed through us gets stored inside of us. Our issues live in our tissues. <laughs> Don't forget that. That is like so key. Our issues live in our tissues. Okay, so now the noise. Where's the noise coming from? Now, I'm not going to lie. There's a reason why I moved to the Santa Monica Mountains. I know not everybody has that ability, but that was something that I am very grateful for that I manifested and I did that because I needed to filter out the noise of living in the big bad city of Los Angeles. It's not a bad city. It's just a big city and there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of energy and there was too, it was too much. After over 20 years of being in the city, I had I had lived in the places that, you know, in Hollywood and in West LA and in at the beach. I had lived in all those places, but I still needed less noise in my life because the less noise that's in my life the more that I'm able to tap in and, and create from the inside well you can do that you don't have to obviously move to the mountains like I did but what you can do is you work with what you have first things first notice what you're paying attention to when you notice what you're paying attention to and I'm talking about 
Are you watching the news like a lot? Are you on Google? Are you are you literally watching the news on Fox, CNN, what have you, MSNBC? I'm going to say right now, you got to change the channel because there is so much noise coming through and our brains literally cannot keep processing that information. This is true and that is true and I know this changed and that changed. Guess what? That's starting to confuse you and you can't actually start to form proper opinions and truth for yourself. You stop listening to your intuition because you have so much noise coming into your brain. I hope this makes sense. (laughs) Um, I'm pretty sure it does. So, So that's the first thing is you have to learn to start changing the channel. Start watching less news, dude. You know, personally, I feel like if I ever need to receive information, I will receive the information in the way that the higher power, whatever that belief system is for you, wants to show it to me because that is a part of my path. I'm not seeking, I'm not looking for more information to put into my brain because I want to have a connection here with myself, with source energy, however you want to say, source, God, higher self. I want to have that connection. And in order for me to have that connection, I have to filter out that noise. So another thing is that pay attention to the types of conversations that you're having. Are you, are you hanging out with people who like to gossip? Are you the gossiper, right? Do you pay attention to other people's story? And then you, you know, you say these things and you share these things. Why are you doing that? Well, there's a level of awareness that you're maybe not having in that you feel the need that you have to talk about and tell other people's stories because you're not feeling enough purpose and passion in your own life. That's something to look at. So notice if you're, if you're paying attention to people's negative talk, if you're hearing, hearing a lot of gossip, start changing those conversations or literally start changing the people that you're hanging out with and start having more, you know, more in depth, more, um, more vulnerable, more authentic conversations that expand and open up your mind. Another way to filter out the noise is to switch up. I've talked about changing the channel is to start listening to inspirational things like podcasts, it, um, audiobooks, right? Things that are not about death and destruction. There's a reason why I don't like scary movies. I don't want that stuff in my brain. I literally don't. It goes into my body. It affects my nervous system. I'm like, I'm good without it. I don't, I don't need scary movies. I don't need stuff that's going to like psychologically, you know, (laughs) create more noise in my brain. So, so start filtering out and start choosing new things to pay attention to, new things that inspire you. And if you can't figure out what inspires you, start thinking about what you're passionate about. What is your value system? Get interested in life again. That's another way. All right. And another way to filter out the noise is pure and simple. And I'm a huge advocate of this, as you guys well know, is meditation even five minutes of meditation per day, you guys can go to my website, literally go to my website. And there is, there is an eight minute calming meditation that you can get for free. (laughs) And that is just an awesome way to filter out the noise. There's tons of apps out there. There's YouTube. I mean, we have literally everything that we want at our fingertips based with technology at this point in time. That's awesome. Use it for good. Use it to feed yourself instead of famine yourself. Okay, so those are some ways that you can start really learning how to filter out the noise and start becoming, getting deeper and more grounded into yourself. Um, The last thing I'm going to mention is get out into nature as much as possible. Even if you live in a city, wherever you live, who cares? Pay attention to what's around you. Notice the trees, notice the sky, notice the sun, notice the the breeze, notice the scent of the air, notice your feet on the ground. All of those moments of presence are allowing you to filter out the noise. When you're present, you're not thinking about all the million things that you have to do and you get to do and da 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 and all the stuff that's just coming, 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 coming at you and towards you. You get to take that pause. So 
any one of these things. And if there's something that you like, share that with me, you know, because I love sharing this in, in my group, my private, um, the self-love tribe group. I love sharing things that are going to bring value to people. So if there's something that you have an idea about, share that here. I really want to know. And lastly, you guys, we're going to be doing, we are going to be doing a card pull today. So I want you to take this week and practice filtering out the noise. What can you do for yourself? If you need to put a post-it note and say, and say, I'm filtering out the noise today and think about how you're doing that, live more mindfully. The more mindful that you live, the more graceful that you live. And guess what? This world right now is so divisive and so chaotic. We, we really need these moments. We really do. We really need to start learning how to create new patterns in our life that are healthy for us. So let's pull a card, and after um, after this, um, I just also want to, well, while I'm doing this, I'll just share, you guys, this Saturday is the Power of Authentic Vision workshop, and it's going to be online. It's my first one this year. Um, I'm going to be doing a mini hypnosis to help you rewire some subconscious thoughts, and join please do and you can i'll put the link here below but there's two do two days left so you're going to want to sign up by tomorrow if you've been on the fence about coming to this workshop um there's so much good stuff in it you guys i'm going to be giving you some keys to accelerate your results to give you clarity on where you're going in your path to how to have like an idea of what the hell is my purpose and passion on this planet all of this is going to be included in the workshop. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite workshops to teach, and I really, really hope to see you there. Okay, so card coming through right now on what it is for the collective that we, sh that we can be focusing on this week. I love it. Okay, so this is the compassion card, and it says, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So just remember, the practice of self-love, self-care, and self-healing is starting here. In order for us to love others deeply, we have to learn to love ourselves first. So find that compassion with yourself this week. Learn how to filter out the noise. Start these practices because guess what? This is it. This is the only life that you have right now. There are no, no do-overs in the sense of getting your time back, getting your energy back. We're just continuing to move forward however that looks. All right, my loves, I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the workshop and I will see you soon.